I'm just going to sit this on the screen for a minute. Let that sink in. Coach Prime is on the verge of signing not one, not two, but three five-star players to Jackson State University. It's crazy to see how much of a huge impact he's had in such a short span of time. I'm sure many of you are wondering, why are all these big-time players starting to stray away from traditional Power 5 programs? Check this out. I would fire a coach immediately if he called a player an N-word. No questions asked. That did not happen. Another college football story that we need to share, and that is about Clemson assistant coach Danny Pierman, who acknowledges using a racial slur in a 2017 practice. What happened was we had, I didn't know anything about it. Coach and I met to discuss the incident, and he reiterated that my language was unacceptable. DJ, you know, just kind of, you know, said something he, he, he probably shouldn't have said. Sweeney demands accountability from his players, but where is it when a coach does something to those players? Alleged taunting and racial slurs made by Texas A&M students during a campus tour this week has gathered the attention of a state senator. Yeah, even President Young spoke to the university via email on Tuesday saying how disappointing this is, but he also emphasized the actions of a few students do not represent the institution as a whole. KX HD News reporter Shada Nazifor is live at Texas A&M. Shada, how are students reacting to the alleged incident? I spoke with some students on campus about how they feel about these allegations and some agree with President Young, others say they have experienced situations like this themselves. On January 9th, 60 junior students from Uplift Hampton Preparatory were allegedly approached by white Texas A&M students who made it known to their visitors they were not welcomed. So if you want to feel equal if you had another statue of a black person. No, I got it like you. So why isn't it the same the other you're, way around? If you're a student, I'm not talking to you. Are you an Aggie? I'm not talking to you. Are you a black? I'm not talking to you. Let me. Let me. Aggie, right? oh, what? what? If you go to school. No, 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 no. Say that, say that one more time. Now. The A&M student at the center of a racially charged viral video is issuing an apology tonight. This after the university announced plans to hold him and others that are in that video accountable for what they did and said. News Story's Whitney Miller explains. I was horrified. I could not even really get through most of the video. Morgan Gimblet, a student at Texas A&M, was shocked to find a video filled with racial slurs had surfaced on social media over the weekend. A bunch of people were very up in arms and very disgusted by this. The 37 second recording shows at least three white students at a chalkboard describing a diagram about race using the N word. An A&M student is heard repeating variations of the word as he's describing children of mixed races what's good youtube it's your boy reggie from hbcu spotlight and i'm back with another banger this is the story of yet another trailblazer who was out to bring black colleges back to prominence this is the story of harold perkins College football is starting to feel like the NBA. All of these guys spend time together at camps, getting to know each other. And when the time comes, they want to form super teams. If that super team just happens to be an HBCU, then I'm all about it. Perkins isn't your ordinary player. He's a 6 foot 3, 210 pound linebacker in the class of 2022 from Cypress, Texas, where he attends Cy Park High School. He's the fifth ranked player in the nation, the best linebacker in his class, and a top player from Texas. His stats are just impressive as his film. He played running back and linebacker. In total, he rushed for 2,445 yards to go along with 35 touchdowns on the ground. He exploded for a 98 yard run this season. He added in 36 receptions for 742 yards and seven touchdowns through the air. 
I'm still not done. He had a total of 122 tackles, 26.5 tackles for loss, 9 sacks, 4 interceptions, 14 passes deflected, 3 fumbles recovered, 4 forced fumbles, 1 block punt, and 1 block field goal. He has 33 scholarship offers from literally everywhere. Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Miami, Ohio State, and of course, Jackson State, just to name a few. His top three schools are currently LSU, Texas, and Texas A&M. All recruiting sources are saying he will go to Texas A&M. Wherever Perkins decides to go may be a strong indicator to where the top defensive lineman, Shamar Stewart, will sign. Harold will make his big announcement on January 2nd at the Under Armour All-American game. The game will be on primetime on Sunday on ESPN at 2 p.m. Imagine that statement it will make to the world if he signs to Jackson State live on national TV. Wherever he decides to go will be a cause for celebration. But just think about those videos I showed earlier. Does it look like those schools and students actually want you there? If you couldn't score a touchdown or make a tackle, would you feel welcome? I encourage all recruits just to attend one HBCU homecoming before making the final decision. If you want to be at a place who will help you succeed on the field, in the class, and in life, then you know what to do. Thanks for watching the video. If you made it to the end, type in January 2nd in the comment section. Jackson State fans, please follow his social media sites that are on the screen. Tell him I sent you. We gotta show him that HBCUs are really a family. As always, if you enjoyed the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. We on the road to 10K. From us, over here at HBCU Spotlight, we're rooting for you Perkins and looking forward to seeing you shine on the field. We out of here. Peace.